Thank you, Dead Winslow. Hey, Brian, Slasher and Suits. What's going on, dudes? Okay, we got the Lighthouse Kill Count. New movie out about two sailors at a lighthouse. Well, I guess they're not sailors. Well, they had to sail to the island, right? I guess that makes you sort of a sailor. So, uh, two lighthouse attendants are stuck on this island. You know, the lighthouse that tries to put a light out so boats don't crash into it and everything. So, they're stuck on that island for like four weeks until the replacements are supposed to come. And a storm, a heavy storm comes by and it makes it impossible for their reliefs to come. And they get stir and cabin crazy around here. So, if you like that, subscribe here for more new movie kill counts. And let's get to all this crazy pirate -ness dude it's also from the guy who made the witch you know about the hot girl going out in the forest and joining a bunch of other witches so let's get to this what's a timber man want with being a wiki just looking to earn a living it's like any man starting new on the run jobs were hard to come by back in those days so he actually killed a guy and took his name. Or ba basically, an accident happened. They're like Timberman, whatever the fuck that means. Lumberjacks? I don't know. So I guess uh, an accident happened and he didn't save him. So almost like killed him and went, fuck it, I'll take his job and everything. I mean, if it was a good enough job, I'd totally get that. I would take someone's job or their car or stuff like that if they're dead. They're not going to use it. So he killed somebody and then he sees like a ghost head. <laughs> he sees a ghost head and that's supposed to be the prior assistant so Defoe might have killed that prior assistant that he said he just went mad and everything but it could be dude he got in my way so I fucking killed him or he said some accident happened I don't know don't the jobs gotta tell you someone died on there you know see that's like a big shining vibe like hey we just gotta tell you the previous guy killed those self and his family but i guess that was like way back in the day day that they didn't have rules for shit like that way back then you know he believed that there was some enchantment in the light went mad he did tall tales but See, one moment they're chasing each other with axes, or fighting and to the death, and then hugging and kissing each other the next scene. And they almost kissed the one scene. I was like, whoa, that's gay. <laughs> almost broke back mountain. Like, I was like, is this where this movie's going? Then they'll kill each other? But I don't know, dude. It did get there. But the bird does not make it, man. So he even warned him, like, I saw you fussing with that bird. Do not get one of those birds. Seagulls has a sailor soul and it lost at sea and shit like that. So I guess it's almost like killing a crow. Like, that's bad luck. That's somebody's soul, too. But I guess in the pirate sailor world, very bad luck to kill a seagull. And he was beefing with the seagull this whole time, too. <laughs> How long have we been on this rock? Five weeks? Two days? Help me to recollect. Damn, dude. I guess they lost the calendar. That is crazy. Like, you can't recall what's two days or a month and everything? That means you are fucked. You got cabin fever. You have no idea what's going on. And then this dude, he finds a mermaid thing in his uh, pillow. And that is what they jerk off to, like back in the day. Think about it. They need that Pornhub. I, dude, I didn't get Pornhub way till like a couple of years ago, man. We used to have to spank it to regular old dirty magazines when I was a kid. Now we got it all in our phones and everything. Back in the day, you had to jerk it to like a mermaid figure, you know? I seen you sparring with a gull. Best leave him be. Why is it bad luck to kill a gull? In them's the souls of sailors. What met their maker? Bad luck to kill a seabird. Yeah, then this movie gets all shining and they go after each other with an axe and everything. Breaking down the shit and everything. Uh, destroying one of the lifeboats to get out and fighting and it was pretty cool. But, you know, one guy has to live and Robert Patterson beat the shit out of William Defoe. But then he also tried to come out with him with an axe and didn't come out the victor. 
first William Defoe gets buried alive but he's not quite dead but then he comes back and gets brained by an axe man and that's what you see pretty much just swept down and everything yeah so after he's dead he takes the light uh, the lighthouse keys goes all the way up there because William Defoe did not let him up there the whole time so he's just curious and then he's like in a daze about it and then he falls down all these stairs and everything so that's pretty much how he dies he dies from falling down tumbling down all these stairs like you know the circle path all the way down the tower i guess it looked pretty gruesome and everything then you flash to it and the seagulls are back at him dude you could beat a seagull to death but then his homies come and get you back you know so the seagulls got the revenge like all those pirate sailor souls got him All to yourself. Boo. Boo. What you gonna do? Alright, so the total number of kills I got was five, one bird, and four humans. And so, at least like two real people, because you don't know about, like, alright, do you consider him killing that dude an accident and he did save him? Is one and did William Defoe actually kill that other guy the other prior assistant or that was all in Robert Patterson's head who knows man I guess I'll count them it's cooler I guess if they both killed the person and then they got their comeuppance that's sort of like fate you know so thanks for watching and subscribe for more kill counts I got some more new movie ones coming in the future and I will see you dudes later later dudes